It always comes to this. There, guys, back again to do another tattoo progress update. Um, where I last left off, I believe I had just talked about this one, um, and uh, a lot about the, the white ink and my moon. And before that, I had done uh, this armpit tattoo, which is way better now. The black is in there way better than it was. Um, yeah, I think I think the first time we did it. Uh, it just wasn't in there real well, and honestly, Rick has only ever tattooed my armpits, surprisingly. Uh, he hasn't had a whole ton of experience tattooing armpits, and I guess not that many people do. But uh, we got this one in real good. The black is in there. I think he, he needs to figure out, needed to figure out his depths a bit better the first time, and now we got it. So whenever we get back over here... We gotta do more over here and uh, that saga will continue. But we're taking a little bit of time off the armpits while they heal, so um, we got to work on tentacles again. So we did this guy up here and this one down here again. I had just done this one a couple months ago, but Rick wasn't happy with how it went in, so he wanted to do it again. So we did, yeah, we did this whole one and this one and thank God we did two at once because we got to hit this one again a little bit. And then we got this little guy over here to do still. And there's one down here that needs love. And uh, I will say that uh, this has been quite the undertaking and a lot to learn. And I would be, I would be lying to you guys if I said it, it wasn't taking the toll. But I've got a lot of stamina for this. And I can keep going for as long as it takes. A lot of the thing is just like getting it right. Once it's right in there, it does stay. Like my chest, for example, hasn't changed any since we finished it and since we got the white in there and uh, the panther are black in there, but it's just about getting it in um, deep enough and then it seems to stay. Like in here isn't changing, but some of these areas are hard to line to begin with. And then when you're doing black on black, it just takes takes a lot of work to get it in solid. So, um, yeah, this guy down here is kind of vanishing a little bit, but it hasn't been done in Panthera yet. So I think that's going to be our target for next time. But I think Rick wants to work over here. I think I'm just going to have to get him to do this one, though, because I think it needs it more. Um, he wants to darken up a few things over here still. And... Uh, Overall, once we get the tentacles out of the way, like the, the panthera shaded in them, um, we'll be doing highlights primarily in almost everything, other than uh, my armpits. They've still got some more actual shading to do, but we're gonna be doing all kinds of highlights in the, the tentacles after that. So a lot of white, a lot of silver, and kind of making things pop more. So we wanna get that color into the tentacles and bring them forward um, as soon as we get that in there it's gonna pull all of these off see a lot of this is, is like i know the groundwork part we're lining all this in, and we're putting the bones in in black so that the white can serve to pop them forward change them from the, the background it's going to do a similar thing to what the the white has done in the chest where it brought everything black forward or pushed it behind or whatever you want to say so even though it's taking us a long time to get there, uh, we will get there. I have full confidence of that. So when I say that it's been a lot and it's been a lot on my uh, stamina, um, that doesn't mean I'm not interested in finishing or that I'm getting burnt out on it. Um, but it has been nice to be doing some of the smaller ones with Terry in between to just kind of uh, revitalize or like, you know, when you get this done, it's done. Like it's it's a one session deal, that thing. Obviously this is the third time we've done it, but like your one session on it makes a big difference where this is a lot of layering, right? 
when we uh, blacked out this chest, for example, that was with the knowledge that it was going to take quite a while for it to soften. So, like, that wasn't going to be an immediate reward. It was going to be potentially an immediate loss and then an eventual gain. Um, as you can see, it's still very, very dark. We're both surprised at how dark it is. Again, like, I don't really mind if it stays this dark for a year. I've got enough that I'm working on that um, eventually it will soften. We already know this. Uh, so this is uh, the first black on black we did, but the back was not nearly as dark. So it's kind of softened. And there was part of it that's like, you can still see it's here and dynamic. You can still see that black, but it's softened quite a bit. Once it gets to that tone, we'll be able to put um, the Panther over it and uh, you won't be able to see this anymore, but that's gonna take some time. So for anyone <laughs> without vision, I wouldn't recommend blacking out a piece just to cover it. Um, for anyone without patience, I wouldn't recommend that uh, course of action, but uh, I'm full of both of those things. So yeah, I can, I can weather that storm. But yeah, uh, the stomach, again, always painful. I always, uh, I prefer getting my chest worked on or anywhere on my arms worked on or even the hand tattoos. Uh, when we were working on my face tattoos uh, with Terry, that was, uh, that was preferable over uh, what I've been doing on my stomach with Rick, my ribs with Rick. I always prefer anything other than that. And it's not because it's the worst pain I've ever felt or anything like that. I've described stomach tattoos as like stomach and rib tattoos is like kind of a constant seven or an eight where there aren't many areas that you get like a breather from. So you're kind of locked into it the whole time. I, I feel like anything that's right up on you is harder to distract from. I remember times when I was getting my legs blacked out where even though the pain was pretty, pretty good, um, because it's away from me and it's not right up on me, I can kind of drift away. I could even do like I could be reading an article on my phone sometimes, or, or sometimes I'd be filming the, the tattoo and making stories or video content with, uh, while I'm getting tattooed. Just any, like, any number of ways to distract myself. When you have something right up on your stomach, um, it's right in your face kind of thing. And not literally, but like, you can't so much get away from it. It's, it's present. Um, I feel the same way when I'm getting my, like the fingernail beds tattooed, like mag shaded. Um, there's some things that are harder to zone out of. So yeah, anyway, long story short, uh, I was just talking about my armpits not long ago and how those are overrated. I think the stomach is a little underrated. Um, that would be what I would say. I would way rather sit for um, my armpit tattoo than my stomach tattoo. Uh, it's just what I think on the matter. Obviously, there's going to be some people who disagree with that, but uh, I think we each feel the pain a little bit differently anyway. So uh, my anecdotal evidence or my anecdotal uh, suggestion is that uh, stomach's more painful than armpit. Now, that being said, I have another tattoo with uh, Rick next week. So we'll be working on more tentacles. And as I said in the last video that went up, um, we're gonna be, me and Terry are gonna be doing my neck, my throat sometime very soon. So I'm not sure which will come first, but uh, that's where I'm headed next. So either session will be painful. I don't love getting my throat and neck tattooed either. Um, my neck has been tattooed between 10 and 15 times overall. And so uh, there's a lot of scar tissue there. Um, for anyone who's watched my channel for a long time, you'll know that uh, uh, one of the three times I've asked for back teen was on a uh, throat blackout session. It was the third time I was blacking out the center of my throat. There was still a little bit of the old tattoo showing through. Um, so I had Rick go in and try and get rid of that halo, and he did, but uh, I don't think I've waited long enough between sessions on my throat, and uh, the pain was was measurable. We'll say it was probably a nine for me. And about a half an hour in, I asked him to numb, like numb my throat a bit with Bactine. That being said, I've never actually used numbing cream before. I seen a guy getting his, uh, 
neck tattoos in here the other day with numbing cream and that uh, seemed to do really well for him but what i've heard from some people is that uh, numbing cream can be good for short sessions but if you get into a longer session if that wears off then feeling the pain all at once can really suck i kind of want to like I, I don't really ever want to try numbing cream because i i like the process i like feeling the pain of things i like being in it and um, I like surviving it and the whole ordeal, but I kind of want to try it sometime just so that I have some perspective on it. Just so if people ever ask me about it, I have an informed answer because right now it's just, I don't know, I've never tried it. And I feel like for having 1200 hours of tattoo experience, that's kind of a lame answer. <laughs> and uh, it's a, a spot that I could use um, a little more perspective. So. I don't know when or if I'll ever do that, but uh, I'm thinking about it lots, just trying to see how it goes. Um, I don't think I would ever do it more than once, but just so that I could give a better answer on it, I have thought about it. So yeah, anyway, that's my rant for the day. I always get off on a tangent or another. Show this off one more time. So yeah, it's just this guy here and this guy here. They haven't peeled yet, but I suspect they will here any day it's been i guess three days since i had these done so usually i peel the third or fourth day so i'd imagine that's right around the corner and yeah we still got this big boy here to do we gotta get him up to snuff with these ones if i could get the ones down here to be as good as the ones on my side that would be great because the ones on my side are really really clear and they've been healed for a while now but yeah, just the stomach is really, really hard to, to get that solid, especially like, like it's one thing to be doing on a normal canvas, but on black on black, if you don't have that line super in there, if you don't have that shading super in there, it's probably not going to be showing through. So um, we're working really hard to get there, but it's any number of sessions to do this. And as I've said before, um, I don't think that this is the kind of thing that will ever become a trend or catch on as a fad. Uh, black on black or white on black because if you want it to look really good you have to be willing to put in the time and effort pain and the money and that's a lot it's a lot of work and i'm not saying i'm unique or like i'm the only one that can do this but like i always want to be thorough and honest with my uh youtube viewers that this is not something that happens easy uh, if you want to go to this road you're in for the long haul and so while it may seem appealing to simply black something out and go over it, um, it's a heavy commitment if you want to get some a really good image there. So anyway, uh, that's going to do it for this one. And I'll talk to you guys again soon.